This parish is really quite an amazing place when you think about it. You are the gateway, the entry point to hundreds and hundreds and maybe even thousands of new families who want to set root in the Diocese of Hamilton. All those coming from the east, making their way west, come through here, here in our community, in our diocese today. Hi, my name is Kennedy Udida. Joy and I, with our three lovely children, aged nine to 14, have been parishioners of Mary Mother of God for the last six years. And we love every moment we've been here. And I'm so excited to be part of the One Heart, One Soul campaign. And I believe this campaign will help us to expand the love of Christ in our parish. Hi, my name is Deborah Puckett. And I'm her daughter, Janae. We've been parishioners at Mary Mother of God for four years now. We're also uh, involved in the One Heart, One Soul campaign. We have decided that we're both going to volunteer and uh, I can't wait to see where that takes us as well in our parish. We love being parishioners here and we are just looking forward to the future of here for many, many years. Good day, I'm Victor Violin. I'm happy to say a few words today on behalf of the One Heart, One Soul campaign. Christ has truly risen and it's time to turn our attention to things that are much more exciting that our parish can be working on. There are some wonderful ideas that are being considered for this campaign, all of which are exciting and sensible. Please consider a pledge to help us out. Give with your heart, and we'll leave the rest to the Lord. May God bless you and all our families. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Debbie Fry, the parish minister here at Mary Mother of God, as well as the chair of the One Heart, One Soul campaign. Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video, to learn more about the campaign, the projects that we've identified, as well as to hear from other parishioners who will weigh in with their thoughts. It was three years ago, after great prayer and discernment, that His Excellency Bishop Crosby announced a new campaign for our diocese, intended to renew and re-energize our parishes from within. He named it One Heart, One Soul. And his challenge to us was this, to prayerfully consider where the Holy Spirit is at work here in our corner of the kingdom. What is he making manifest right now? What are the seeds he's planting for the future? And what is his clarion call to us, his holy people, as we face exploding new housing development around us, a shift in our demographics, and God willing, an eventual end to this pandemic. Who is he calling us to be, to meet this moment? Last fall, we formed a committee under the leadership of our pastor. And we began this process of, of dialogue and discernment on behalf of the parish. Our first effort, was to hear from all of you. And we created a digital survey where we asked all of you to weigh in. We identified a few ideas for projects we may want to consider. Is now the time to build that parish life center that was part of the original architectural design? Should we build an outdoor worship space and learning center around an image of our patroness, Mary Mother of God? We also added a little box where I asked all of you if there was something else we should consider. And boy, did you weigh in. Almost half of you wrote in another suggestion for a project here at the parish. Allow me to share with you a few examples. Young adult ministry, music minister, review and cleanup of the parishioner membership list, expansion of youth ministry, evangelization ministry, engaging children, youth, and young adults, reaching out to prior or seldom practicing Catholics or ex-churchgoers, ecumenical ministry, supporting families in need, supporting new families, 
outreach program to all registered church members, learning conferences, talks and seminars on Catholicism, family and children's programming. And last, the one that I think that sums it up best, what can we do to bring more people into our church? I would like to see more efforts in this, especially with young families who are our future. Hello, we are Aaron and Scott Bell, and for the past 14 years, we have called Mary Mother of God home for us and our four children. Over these years, we have all found ways to be active members of the parish community. We have fantastic memories and have enjoyed wonderful friendships. This year, our parish is celebrating 25 years, and this milestone is an opportunity to set our direction for the next 25. We all know how difficult times have been recently, but we are people of faith and hope. We see the timing of the milestone anniversary together with the One Heart, One Soul campaign as a perfect opportunity. Our doors are closed right now, but we want to be ready to welcome everyone back with an active and thriving church. We now have the unique chance to come out of this stronger with a great direction set for our parish future. One Heart and Soul campaign truly offers the best opportunity to rise from this difficult time as a hotly active and engaging and welcoming parish, ready to lead and embrace the next 25 years. We hope you will join us in the excitement of this campaign. The greater the success, the more we can offer our parishioners. It's a win-win. God bless you and yours. As we combed through all of your responses, one theme became clear. You were letting us know that you want us to be intentional about growing our parish and increasing the number of people who join us at Sunday Mass and draw those same people deeper into the life, faith, and mission of the church. We've identified as our first project what we're calling Growing Our Parish Family. We seek to fully fund a full-time parish youth minister for five years we also seek to fully fund a ministry assistant for five years to assist our clergy and pastoral staff in this work. We've also seek to take on the big project of updating our parish database with current cell phones and email addresses, along with a solid strategy to reach all 5,000 of our families through their devices Hi, my name is Molly Fisher, and I'm one of the former Aftermath Youth Group Leaders at Mary Mother of God. Youth ministry is really about planting seeds in the lives of young people who are searching for their identity in a society that gives so many mixed messages. I've seen the fruits of youth ministry in my own life through the encouragement of priests, chaplains, and youth leaders. Mary Mother of God is vibrant with young people who are becoming leaders through the youth-led family mass and attending youth groups and community service. It's a blessing to see young people encounter Christ for the first time in the sacraments and worship alongside thousands of other youth at Steubenville conferences. I just pray that Mary Mother of God will continue to invest in the lives of these young people who are thirsting to deepen their relationship with God I'm excited to support this campaign and witness the expansion of youth ministry at our parish. An area that I'm particularly interested in is embracing more of our youth and bringing them into the service of our community and our parish and worship of our Lord. It is very difficult today to keep Christ relevant in their lives. And I believe things like an expanded youth ministry, a digital evangelization platform, can speak to our children in ways that are very new, very interesting, very relevant to them. Hello, my name is Kelly Stevenson, and I've been a member of the parish since I was born, and I've been involved with the youth ministry since grade nine. I think these initiatives are really important as it allows youth to explore their faith, ask important questions, and grow closer to God, as well as me teaching it allows me to grow closer to God. I hope that we are able to continue this youth ministry initiative forever, that way everyone has the opportunity to grow closer to their faith and experience what I have been privileged to experience over the past four years. I will be volunteering to make phone calls, and I hope we are all very excited for this initiative. We found Mary Mother of God's Children and Youth Ministry a very significant part of our children's growth. 
given us a true sense of Christian community. In my children's words, our youth ministry activities are fun. Things are explained in ways that we understand. The songs are familiar and we recognize other kids too. In short, we are in the midst of other children and it makes perfect sense. Seeing our children grow every day in the love of Christ, Joy and I feel so blessed to be part of Mary Mother of God. Hi, my name is Anya Bastiempe, and I have been a part of Mary Mother of God Parish since I was six years old. I really enjoy being a part of my church and my faith because I'm only I'm able to grow in my faith and grow closer to God and also make friends and have fun. I'm really excited for the One Heart and One Soul campaign because other kids like me are going to have the same opportunities to grow in their faith as well. I really am looking forward to seeing youth ministry grow at my church and seeing so many more young people be able to grow closer to God and put God first. One of our well-known parishioners once said to me, all in God's perfect timing. My name's Judith Nunn and I've been a parishioner at this church for 20 years. I did not always know that the Catholic faith was the treasure that it is. I used to be a last in, first out kind of mass goer without knowing anyone in the pews. But now I know, as you do, the beauty of the faith, how can we not invest in the future of the church, which is our young people? We have something amazing to share with them, but the infrastructure to share this costs money. We have started to involve them, but we have a long way to go. And I ask you to support our One Heart, One Soul campaign to build and repair. Not just the church's leaky roof, but also the leaks that we have among our teens and youngsters, the lost souls who need the anchor of faith now in COVID more than ever. The more we put into the church, the greater the fruit. God will never be outdone in generosity. I believe that this is God's perfect timing for us to share what we have to ensure that our young people are drawn back and stay with Mary Mother of God Church today and in the future. Hi, I'm Linda. And I'm Mario. And we're excited about our parish One Heart, One Soul campaign. We've been with Mary, Mother of God, since the beginning, coming up to 25 years. And what an adventure in faith, and what a blessing to have made lifelong friends along the way. It is our dream to expand and grow our parish family. And that's why the campaign projects of dedicating resources to youth ministry and digital outreach are so exciting. Here's a chance for you to belong to our Mary Mother of God family in a more concrete way. How will you respond? We can't wait to see how you'll join us in serving and growing our parish family. God, God bless, bless you. you. Our next priority is what we are calling enhancing our worship. As you all know, for 25 years, Mary Mother of God has run our music ministry entirely with volunteers, talented parishioners who show up week after week to share their gifts, making our encounter with the Eucharistic Lord even more meaningful. But as our parish has grown, so have the demands on these volunteers. Which is why, with the approval of our pastor, we've identified as a priority fully funding a part-time music director for five years. Hello, my name is Michaela Yan, and my family and I have been members of the Mary Mother of God Parish since about 2008. Singing hymns is a very special part of celebrating Mass, and is something that my whole family takes part in, inside and outside of the church. My parents, my grandmother, and even my brother, although he won't often admit it. The music ministry at Mary Mother of God has been developing for many years, with different choirs and music groups leading the congregation at Mass. My dad and I have been fortunate to be a part of one of those choirs for more than five years now. I believe that having a music director at Mary Mother of God will not only complete this ministry, but it would take us to the next level. Having someone to help grow and develop the choirs and provide a consistency to all masses and for all parishioners. Prayer is so important in our faith, and as we know, St. Augustine said, to sing is to pray twice. I would love to hear more singing coming from the congregation, and I believe a music director can make this happen. We came from a parish in Calgary that had very lively music, 
which help to bring young families and young adults into the parish. We love the music ministry at Mary Mother of God, and we've loved watching it evolve over the past few months and years, and we're excited to see where it goes. Hi, my name is Tiffany and I've been a volunteer in the music ministry at the Mary Mother of God Parish for almost five years now. Being part of the 5pm choir, I'm so excited to hear about having a professional music director with us. I think that it will really help our choir to grow and take it to the next level. And being a musician and singer myself, I think that it will really help me in improving and learning more about the liturgical music and being able to share it with people. And that's why I'm so excited to be part of the One Heart, One Soul campaign. Our next project is something you all supported enthusiastically, and that's a building fund. A rainy day fund set aside for any building projects that may come up so that those needs won't need to be met from our Sunday offering. Also, you should know that we applied for and received a variance from the Diocese of Hamilton, which is great news for our parish. Originally, we would have been allowed to keep 75% of the money we raised here at Mary Mother of God, but with our new variance, we will be able to keep 90% of the monies that we raise. That additional 15% has been earmarked as offertory recovery to help compensate for our lost revenue during COVID-19. My dear friends, for those who haven't met me, I'm Father Jerry from the city, and I'm your new pastor here at Mary Mother of God Parish. For years, I have heard about this parish, that it is full of joy and love of the Lord. I was delighted when Bishop Crosby asked me to shepherd this parish, and I promised to give my all in service of God and his people of Mary Mother of God Parish. Friends, in Psalm 30, we hear that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. After the many months of hardship during the pandemic, together we recently marked our 25th Jubilee in prayer and joyous celebration. Now let us fix our sights on our bright future ahead. All around us, many new families are arriving to North Auckland. Plans to plans for a fifth school in our parish are underway. We want to be in a position to welcome these families and provide nourishing liturgy and programming that will touch their hearts and change their lives as only the good news can. The phrase, one heart, one soul, is perfect to describe the spirit that our parish has always had when facing big challenges. From our humble beginning in a gymnasium to the construction of this magnificent sanctuary and the determined effort to pay, pay down our debt, this community has always worked hard and given generously with a focus on focus on achieving God's will for our parish together. Now, I'm inviting us all to come together again with one heart and one soul as we set out to raise the funds we need to expand our outreach to youth and young families, recover lost revenue from the pandemic, and address some urgent facility needs as well. Friends, our goal is to raise 1.1 million through this campaign. Allow me to break down for you the projects that we wish to fund. In order to continue the youth ministry efforts that we began a few years ago, we plan to fund a full-time youth minister for five years. We also wish to fully fund a part-time director of music for five years. We plan to address the leaking roof that continues to cause damage to our sanctuary. We will also fund the platforms and tools we need to implement a digital outreach strategy to connect with all of our 5,000 families. All of these projects are explained in greater detail in the package that you will receive 
some of you might have already received in the mail. All registered families will receive a campaign packet in the mail. Please be sure to open it and consider the materials inside. Inside the packet, you will find the following. This booklet provides information the whole campaign and how it benefits parishes and ministries of the diocese. This sheet is particular to our parish. It details the fundraising goals of the campaign of our parish projects to be funded through the campaign. You will also find a letter from the bishop and me inviting you to consider an amount to pledge to the campaign. My re request is that you make a, a meaningful gift based on my confidence in the generosity of our parish community as well as the significant needs we currently face. We have significant needs and I must make a significant request. The amount I'm asking for is an honest request. Pledge what you prayerfully believe God is asking. Our request is an invitation, not an expectation. Ultimately, whatever gift you make is a gift we will receive with deep gratitude. We have a group of volunteers I've asked to reach out to as many parish families as they can to invite your participation in the campaign. So you may be getting a call from one of them. And these are your fellow parishioners. They are doing this for me and the parish. I request you to receive their calls warmly. We are all working for a better parish. That will take a spirit of generosity and cooperation on all our parts. Just to be clear, the volunteers do not know what amount I have asked you to consider. They will not know what you pledge unless you tell them. Everyone will receive a pledge card with a stamped written envelope in your packet. The success of our campaign depends on your participation. Please return these with the complete pledge in the mails as soon as you, you are able. If you don't understand how to fill out the card, call the office and we'll have Debbie Fry contact you to help you fill out the card. If you don't, if you don't receive a campaign packet in the mail, please let us know at the parish office so we can get one for you. If you are not registered, please call the office during the week to provide your contact information. We will be sure to get a campaign packet to you right away. Friends, I would love to see everyone participate in this campaign. This is a great opportunity and important effort for our parish. We need everyone's involvement. Everyone can do something, even if it is pray. Pray for the success of the campaign and pray for God's guidance in how you and your family can help. I did want to mention that on the web page we are, where you found this message, there are other things to see. The parish insert, the parish case insert I mentioned is there so you can already view what our projects and calls are. Also the campaign video for One Heart One Soul is on the web page. I highly recommend you watch it. It is beautifully done and does a great job of giving us the sense of what the campaign is about and truly for. Lastly, I know the question will ar arise, why are we doing this now? From the beginning, this campaign has been primarily about strengthening the parishes of the diocese. Because of the pandemic, our parish has even greater needs than when we started. The campaign offers us the opportunity to better fulfill our vision. 
there is no greater priority than that. Like I mentioned before, there have been parishes that have completed the campaign during the pandemic and have been very successful. I believe we can too. Like everything else we do in our parish, with our parish, and for our parish. May God bless this effort so that it is done with one heart and one soul. Amen.